Hey everyone, I'm Jamin, owner and head CEO of Peak Tournaments. And in this video, I'm basically gonna just give a general synopsis of how to play in online Smash CG events from basically how to register, how to check in, and all the way to the point where you either win or get eliminated from the tournament. So to start things off, I'm going to show you guys the Smash CG homepage for one of our events and kind of give you a quick breakdown of that. So the first thing that you wanna do uh, when you want to sign up for one of our events, or just online events in general, is you want to make sure that you create your Smash CG account and make sure that you are logged in. Although it may seem like kind of obvious that you need to be logged in to register and check in and make sure that you can play in the event, a lot of people do forget because Smash CG's interface is a little uh, confusing at times, so make sure that you check the bottom left of your screen and you see that you are logged in down here. And as you can see here, I am logged in. So uh, the next main part of the tournament is event check-in. So in general, for online tournaments, not just our events, but it's kind of yeah, like for all of them, they normally do something called event check-in. So for us, our event check-in basically, you check in an hour before the event starts. So our events normally start at 6 p.m. Eastern. So we have our check-in opened at 5 p.m. Eastern. So basically, after you register, you have there's an additional button, as you can see here, this blue bar you have to check in within that hour. Just, it kind of helps us make sure that we can DQ and get rid of people who aren't actually gonna be playing in the tournament. So we can kind of get it moving faster. So all you have to do is make sure you're logged in, make sure you're registered, and then you can just check in here. And so after this, you are pretty much all set for the tournament. If you have any other questions, you can DM one of the TOs in Discord and we'll try and get to you as soon as possible. But yeah, so from here, you basically wait until your round one starts. All right. So once bracket starts, you'll get a notification on the Smash G homepage. It basically says your bracket has started. So what you want to do is you want to click go to event. And if you look at the screen, it'll show your match dashboard right here under your matches. And it will display players, seating, and you can also look at the bracket. Click on bracket, you can see the matches on there as well. So going back, what you want to do is go to your match dashboard and click on your match. And it should redirect you to the page where you can see your tasks and all that. So I'm going to briefly go over what each of these tabs are. So the summary tab basically goes on, it explains uh, what characters are picked, stage choices, all that. It kind of gives a brief summary of how the match went. Tasks. So tasks is the most important part of this uh, section. So in your tasks, it's going to prompt you to select characters, create lobbies, and uh, pick the stages, and report all the match scores and all that. So that's an important one. And you can use the chat feature here to communicate with your opponent. So I'm gonna go ahead and check in. That's the first thing that you should do, it's very important. So it says, please set up a lobby and invite your opponent using the displayed ID. So you have to create a lobby and online battle arena. So I'm gonna go uh, ahead and quickly show you guys how to do that. All right, so if we look at the, if we look at the uh, Super Smash Bros. All right, so this is the online tab. So what you're gonna go ahead and do is click Smash, go to battle arenas, and you're going to click create an arena. Make sure the password is on and make sure that you're on the right rule set. So three stuck seven minutes. So go ahead and click next. Name your arena. It doesn't actually matter what you name it. I'll just make it 11. Then create a password. So I'm just going to make my password two. And create an arena. So in order for your opponent to join your lobby, you have to give them this ID right here, JW, JWX, JW, JWXSG, and you have to give them your password. So, going back here to communicate lobby and details, you go click done, you go to chat, and then you give them the ID. So you go ID, JWXSG, and password is 2. And then from there, your opponent will join the lobby and you'll go ahead and complete the rest of your tasks. And I'll briefly highlight each task that you have to do. All right, so the first task that you have to do is you have to select your character. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick Banjo-Kazooie. Your next task is to do your stage bands. So it says here, I'm waiting for my opponent to strike one stage then I'll strike two. So let's go ahead and strike Town and City and Pokemon Stadium, click Submit. And from here, your opponent's gonna strike one stage and you'll play on the remaining stage. So once you hit this screen, you will go into your lobby and play your match, and whoever wins and loses, you'll report that here. So you can either report a win or a loss. So uh, for the tutorial's sake, I'm going to go ahead and report that I won. Click Submit, and your opponent will have to verify that. 
pretty much the rest of the match will go same. You can go through the tasks and do all that. So we'll do stage bans again, report the rest of the games. And then when someone finally wins the set, you'll be asked to confirm it. And after that, you'll move on to the next match. After your match is finished, what you're going to want to do is you want to go back to the event overview page. And you can go ahead and check out the bracket and see when your next match is going to be up. So as you can see, my next match is up in the winner's semifinals. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it and check in. And from there, you kind of do the same process where you complete the tasks. So that's pretty much it on how to play in an online Smash Ultimate tournament on Smash GG. If you do end up having any issues within your match, like maybe having a conflict with your opponent, anything like that, feel free to message a TO or a mod on the, our Discord server. We'll get to you as soon as possible. That is the best way to reach us. Um, so that pretty much that, that, that's pretty much it. That outlines how to play. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments, and I will see you guys soon.